this out by just asking y'all this simple question, bro. Just simple question. And just be 100, man. Be completely 100 down in the comment section. I don't know how many people are actually going to comment. And I only got, I mean, I got less than 20 subscribers. So if somebody come in, man, God be with you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? God bless you. You know what I'm saying? At this current moment in the year, right? At this current moment in the year, all the stuff that's going on, you know what I'm saying? We got so much going on. So much stuff that has happened in 2020 already alone, bro. Like, it's the third month, bro. It's, it's been like 15 things that didn't happen. But let me just ask you, are you afraid? Are you afraid? Are you scared any type of way? Just think deep into your heart, your soul, your mind, bro. And just, 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 I just want you to just go deep, bro. Just feel yourself, bro. Are you afraid? To be honest, guys, bro, I really don't speak on topic like this, bro. But it's just something that has just boiled me for the past couple of weeks, bro. It just has been boiling me. Like, bro, it's just something that I feel like I should speak on. Something that I probably speak on, but it's just like, I really don't get into too much politics, uh, religion, and just worldly things. I normally like to keep these things to myself, but it's just something that I just really just cannot. It's just been boiling me over, bro. I just cannot keep this to myself. I just do not know why. I just cannot do it. First, bro, they scared you with these wars, bro. They scared you with these wars. Like COVID and die, bro. I, I just pretty much the name the specific the the most you know what I'm saying egregious things that have happened this year alone, bro. The Donald Trump impeachment, you know what I'm saying. Kobe Bryant, bro, my guy, Kobe Bryant has passed away, dog. Dog. Okay, now we got this the C virus. I ain't even gonna call it by name. We gonna call it the C virus. This is a virus, bro. To me personally, bro, like y'all already know, man. I feel like this virus just. just how did this virus even come about, bro? How did this even get here, bro? Like, where did where did this even come from, like, dog? Like, real talk, just think in your mind, bro. Like, after all the things that have happened, bro, all the things that have happened this year alone, bro. Now we got this, bro. We got we've been having like storms, crazy weather, bro. Now this, like, where did this come from? Like I said, bro, at the beginning of this video, bro, just think deep inside your heart, your mind, your soul, bro. Just ask yourself, ask God, dude, where did this come from? Where is, where is the location of this origination? Where is, what, what? It's just so crazy to me, bro, how one little thing, bro, like, especially like this virus, bro, this thing that's going around, bro. They say it came from China somewhere. I don't know, man, the Middle East. I don't even know, bro. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not no goddamn, you know, no researcher on it, bro. I mean, of course, I've read a couple of things on it. You can't, you can't even get past this, bro. You can't even go nowhere without hearing about this virus, bro. Like, it's every freaking where, dude. Like, you see how it got y'all acting, bro. Everybody panicking. Everybody is scared, bro. Like, everybody is afraid. People going out, they buying all the toilet paper, all the tissue, all the hand sanitizer. Dude, they, they stocking up on all the water. Bro, let me ask you a question, bro. Why did it take y'all all this time, all this time, bro, for this virus to come around, bro? We've been having several viruses. There's so many, there's so many ailments out there, dude. There's so many ailments, bro. We got diabetes, foodborne illnesses, bro. It's foodborne illness, bro, ailments, bro. Diabetes, heart disease, got them, HIV, all the all the sexual transmitted diseases, bro. Everything out there, bro. And this one virus, bro, after all the years of having these, all this other stuff go on, why do you pick the time to buy all the goddamn necessary necessities for actually a clean household or whatever the case may be with it, whatever the goal y'all trying to reach, y'all trying to stay clean, y'all buying up all the masks, why are y'all buying so much stuff that contributes to healthy living when we've been having all this other stuff going on all this time like why pick this specific time to do this dude like you just all of a sudden just want to just buy a whole lot of toilet paper a whole lot of tissue you know what i'm saying like a whole lot of hand sanitizer which pretty much promotes clean and healthy living dude bro like i said bro we've been going through so many health crises bro so much sorry, so many viruses have came, bro. H one N one, chicken pox and bro, all this stuff has went on throughout life, bro. And 
now all of a sudden you guys want to got down you guys want to got down got down like damn bro that's crazy to me because dog bro what you been doing all this time bro that's my question what have you been doing all this time like bro have you not been washing your hands have you not had a lot of tissue stocked up at home you supposed to be prepared for these situations anyway because this thing has been surfaced through the internet through the news bro it's like it's giving you the scares bro it's giving you the scares, bro. Everybody around scared, bro. Everybody is afraid, bro. Afraid of getting sick, bro. People, they counseling. They counseling NBA. They counseling. They counseling out some jobs. They, they letting out schools, colleges, bro. Everything. Everybody's scared, bro. When this thing, when this, when this perhaps has been something that's been around for a ton of time, bro. You, had the, you got the flu that been around for ages, bro. Been around for over a hundred years, bro. Probably before that, they probably didn't know what to name this thing, bro. This virus that they so called the C virus, bro, probably been around longer than longer than three, four months, bro. Like how however long it's been out today, it's like, bro, you picked this time, dude, to do all that, bro. Now you afraid. Cause you constantly see it, you can't run from it, bro. Cause it's like everywhere, bro. They promoting this heavy, bro. It's all over the news. It's at the bottom of every what's the name, bro. It's at the bottom, bro. They telling everybody to wash their hands, bro. Like I said, I just feel like it's just it's just unnecessary to do all those things. Like right now, why pick this specific time to do all those things when stuff like this been going on, bro? Stuff worse than this. They say this like the common cold. They say it's like the flu. I mean, we know people die from the flu, but it's like, dog. They say this 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 virus right here, but ain't even as serious as the flu, but they say symptoms are mild, bro. Headaches, you know what I'm saying? Coughing, little coughing. How the thing is too, bro, it's like when you talk about a virus, bro, when you talk about something like this, something as detrimental as a virus, the virus is hard to get rid of, bro. Y'all know that. When you talk about something as detrimental as having something like this, bro. You go to the doctor, you go to the doctor. How do you actually know they treat these symptoms, but it's like, how do you actually know that you have the virus? How do you know if you actually got this thing? Like, it's like to help people understand, but it's like, man, it just leave me the question. Like, damn, bro, one, how logged in the matrix are people today, bro? People are just so logged into this, bro. They eating it up, bro. They eating all this stuff up, bro. Like, bro, come on, bro. It's something bigger going on out there, bro. And once you realize, dog, your mind just will expand, bro. You're going to start understanding the world a whole lot more, bro. Open your mind to this stuff, bro. This stuff ain't going on for no reason, bro. Come on, bro. Think outside the box, bro. That's pretty much all I got to say, man. I just want to just open you guys' mind up. I just figured I'd just come up on this uh, just come up on this thing, man. Just speak on how I felt about the situation, bro. Hopefully to help you guys understand and just to release some fear or something out your heart, out your mind, out your body. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just too much stuff going on to be actually doing all this right now, bro. We should have been doing this, bro. The stuff we should have been doing. But anyway, guys, if you like the video, hopefully you watch the video. If you watch the video, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? If you're new, just get into it, man. Share this information, bro. Share it. You know what I'm saying? Share it, bro. There's no need to be scared, bro. There's no need to be fear. There's no need to fear, bro. If you got God in your heart, bro, no need to fear, bro. You shouldn't fear anything. You shouldn't fear anything. You are a God, bro. Why are you scared? But anyway, guys, man, we're going to wrap that up right there, man. It just made me mad, bro. Like, it real talk made me mad. But anyway, guys, man, we're going to wrap this thing up, man. Dead's about this thing, bro. Three, two, one.